I am in serious trouble here. I need help. It's time to call Agent Cocobot. Hello? Agent Cocobon, this is General Coconut II. There is a task for you. It is a big and serious task. It requires your help. Your mission. Do you choose to accept it, Agent? I accept General Coconut. Hey children, welcome back to the Switch Kids on Online Service. I'm on my bed this week, so you got a different place to see me. This week we've got something very exciting to share with all of you. It is revision week for the fruit of our spirit. So stay tuned to have a quick recap of everything we've learned about the fruit of the spirit. Before that, you already know what I'm gonna say. It's time for you to stand up. I'm gonna stay down, we're gonna have to stand up and praise and worship! Woo! Sing with me. 
us our freedom. One, two, three. When the clouds go home and the high dies down, we will sing because we're on a machine. Just like Paul and Silas, we're not staying quiet and never we praise. We'll sing with voices of freedom. When the clouds go home and the high dies down, we will sing because we're on a machine. Just like Paul and Silas, we're not staying quiet.
weekend and welcome to Kid Zone Online Service. I am Special Agent E. I look special, right? Today is a special day because we have finally completed our Fruit of the Spirit series. And because today is so special, we're gonna do Revision. And I have a group of special agents to help me. I am Special Agent E. I have Special Agent P. Special Agent A. And Special Agent L. We are Special Forces Apple. Sorry, Apple. Before we start this important task of Revision, let's have our Bible with us and read Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Let's start our revision with love. Let me share with you my journey of love. I'm a father of three children, and here are my children, kids. Say hi! The way I show love to my children is to remind myself to work hard. I mean hard. Really hard. Harder than the apple. As you know, with the current COVID situation, the ways of working are very different. Many parents like myself struggle. The struggle we have is Zoom. Zoom. And Zoom. We Zoom 8.30 in the morning till sometimes or many times late in the evening. And this is very tiring because the only thing we interact is with the laptop screen. There's no more Yam Cha with your colleagues. There's no more ways we can go out because we are stuck at home. Sounds like we are working in a prison. And this is mentally exhausting. But because I love my children, I know my children need me, I will continue to work hard. Now, let's test our learnings. In the story of the prodigal son, tell me, why did the father celebrate the prodigal son's return, even though his son has done many, many wrong things? I believe the person who is able to catch this apple will definitely know the answer. Let me throw. Oh, looks like I'm the first agent to have caught an apple. Hi kids, I am Agent P. And to answer your question, I think it's because the father loves his son so much and is so happy that his son has finally come home. And now I will be sharing joy from the of spirits. And my story of how I become joyful is there was one time I scored really low pass in my exam and I was feeling very sad. It is okay to feel sad but what you do after that is very important because I know God loves me. Praying and talking to God gives me joy. So after feeling sad, I pray and I talk to God and I become joyful by focusing on the good things God has given me. Only that one subject scored low marks, and all of my other subjects was pretty okay. And my parents still love me even though I score low marks. Now, I'm 100% sure that maybe your parents might scold you for scoring low marks, but they still love you. That's why it's important to be joyful and have joy in your hearts. Now, 
Before I pass it on to the next agent, this is my question. Why was Paul and Silas were able to get out of prison? That's all for me for now. Now I'll pass it on to the next agent. I know the answer, Agent P. It's because Paul and Silas have joy in their hearts. Today, I'm going to share with you my fruit of the Spirit, which is called peace. Starting last year, when COVID-19 hit us, the borders had to be closed. And even until today, the international borders continue to close. So my travel business is still very badly affected. We do not know when money will come in. We do not know how sales will come and we had to downsize our company to like a few of us left. So there are many nights that had spent very, very stressed out because I do not know what's going to happen. But you know what? I decided to ask God for help. I asked God, God, I want the fruit of the Spirit called peace. I want peace in my heart. So please God, give me peace. And you know what? As an agent, God gave me three secret weapons. The first is prayer. The second is praise. The third is His promise. His promise to me is written here in the Bible. So each day when I am feeling that I have no peace, I exercise my three secret weapons, prayer, praise, and promise from Him because His word for me is my food. So today, whenever I want to give up or when I think that I am very stressed, I remember this three secret weapon that God has given me. So right now, children, if God has given us peace, I'm going to ask you a question. The question is, if God has given you peace, how would you be an agent of peace to others? Are you ready for the next question? Go! The answer is, bless others for saying nice and good things and be a peacemaker. We have to be patient with many things in our life. Well, I'm going to tell you a story about being patient. One day I was crossing the a very busy road and the, the pedestrian crossing traffic light was still red. And while I was crossing the road, a motorbike came forward and I got stunned and I got afraid. And all of a sudden, that uncle on the motorbike pushed me aside. If he had not pushed me aside and fall on the ground, he would have knocked me down. So I learned a lesson that we have to be patient when we're at the traffic light junction, wait for it to turn green, then we cross. Psalm 37 verse 7 say, Be still before the Lord and wait blank for Him. I'm going to hide this apple in the fridge. My gut feelings tells me the apple is in the fridge. Let's investigate. Ah, there! It is in the fridge. And the answer to the question is we need to wait patiently for him. The next fruit of the Spirit is kindness. God has been very kind to me and my family. And I believe God wants us to be kind to others too. With the current COVID situation, many families are struggling. Some parents have even lost their job. They are unable to provide food for their families. Sarah, my wife and I have decided to really support them by helping them with food every month. This, I believe, is how we can show God's kindness to them in this situation. Are you ready for question? In the story where Jesus heals the paralyzed man, 
Do you know who showed kindness so that Jesus can heal the paralyzed man? I think Special Agent P will have the answer. Here's the apple for you, Agent P. Finally, you're back here again. Look at the sky, it's already so dark. I've been waiting with the apple for so long. Now, to answer that question, I think the four friends of the paralyzed man showed kindness by helping him dig a hole on the roof so that they can meet Jesus to heal the paralyzed man. Now, next, on goodness of the fruit of the Spirit, I actually have a very special agent to share a story with all of us today. Are you guys ready? I'm going to pass it on to the next agent right now. Thank you, Agent P. Hi guys, my name is Agent Phoebe and I'm from Society and Narrow Street. As, and can you, as you can tell, I actually have so much food here. So before I go on, I want to ask you, what is your favourite food? Is it dark chocolate chip cookies? Or is it mango? Maybe you like orange juice? Or Hokkaido cheese tart? Or fried rice? Or maybe eggs? Well, for me, I like donuts. As in, and as you can tell, I actually already have donuts here that I already have eaten. But you know what? During the pandemic, there has been so much people that are struggling. And even children your age. And when I found out that there were children your age that could not eat the food that they love and were going to bed hungry, I decided, you know what? I want to give some of this to them. So what I did was I went out with my friends and we decided to raise money to bless 150 families. And let me tell you, we had more than enough not only to bless 150 families and children, but we also had enough money to help someone who was sick, who had a two-year-old son in the hospital. And you know what? Let me encourage you. You don't just need to go out and give. You can also give right at home. How? Well, let me tell you. Hmm, maybe you can give a hug to your mom. Maybe you can help your younger sibling with homework. Or maybe you can even help to wash the plates at home. Giving is not only just for grown-ups. Giving is not only just for your mom and your dad. It also starts with you. And if you just open your eyes to see, there are so many opportunities where you can give. So you know what, I just want to encourage you today. You know, just like me, um, with my friends, where we told ourselves we want to give and not let our friends be hungry, not let children be hungry, you can also give. So you know what, I know that you're probably very, very hungry, but you know, I'm just going to pass the time back to Agent P. Thank you for that amazing story from our special agent. Now, that's why it's important to have goodness in our life. And now I have a question for all of you. Why do you think a Samaritan person helped the injured man on the side of the road? That is all from me and our special agent. Now I will pass it on to Agent A. Here we go. running I managed to catch the apple so the answer agent P is that because he is a good Samaritan and he has goodness in his heart my next fruit of the spirit is called faithfulness you know children some days I just feel so disappointed because my prayers have not been answered and the wait is being locked down at home COVID-19 thing is not stopping and I feel like I just want to run away from God I don't want to do Sunday service I don't want to do anything I just want to hide away but you know what I remember that God has given me the fruit of the Spirit called faithfulness and to be faithful in all I do because God is a faithful God he is trustworthy and He is reliable. So, 
I continue to remain faithful in Him because I believe in my Father God's character. Right now, I continue to do my Sunday service, continue to serve in Kitsu, continue to be faithful to my friends by praying for them and asking them how they are. So children, let me ask you today, why do you think that God is a faithful God? And I'm going to ask Agent A next question. He's a neighbor. He is reliable, trustworthy, and faithful. He always keeps his promise. I will tell you a story about gentleness. I have a non Christian lady friend. Sometimes she calls me three to four times a day in the office and I will be very very busy that I can't entertain her but I politely tell her off that I call her back. So I, I never miss, I always call her back. So one day she told me she really appreciated that I never, I always keep my promise to call her back. And I know that during this MCO, all of us will be very stressed and tension. But remember, we have to be kind and be patient and gentle with others. I know the answer to the question. Without the apple, I cannot answer the question. Where is the apple? Ah, the apple is here. The answer to the question is polite and kind. Last but not least, self-control. It's a tough one because I like to play video games. I mean a lot of video games. Every spare time that I have, I'm thinking of myself playing video games. But me and my wife decided to really spend time together every Saturday doing something fun. Like watching Netflix together or going for a ride. I really struggle every Saturday because part of me really wanted to play video games but I decided every Saturday not to play video games but to spend time with my wife in the end even though it's a tough journey but both me and my wife is happy and I felt it is worth it question time all the other questions were answered by special agents. I leave this question, this special question, to you, you who are listening. If the fruit of the Spirit is like an apple, the saying goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Those who taste or eat the apple will make healthy and strong. Similarly, those who taste the fruit of the Spirit will be blessed and can experience Jesus through you. My question is, will you live out the fruit of the Spirit? Let's spend some time reflecting on this. For those who have decided to leave up the fruit of the Spirit, let me pray for you. Let's pray. Father Lord, thank you Lord for today. Thank you Lord for teaching us what is the fruit of the Spirit. Thank you Lord for those who have decided to leave up the fruit of the Spirit in them. I pray Lord that you will strengthen them and you give them the opportunity to demonstrate the fruit of the Spirit to others. I pray Lord when they do so, people around them will be blessed people around them will be able to see you in them and give you all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Wow! That's all for today, folks. Looking forward to see you next week. Bye-bye!
organizing a children's prayer altar via Zoom. Parents, be sure to bring along your kids to join with other children and come together to pray as one. Further details will be shown on the screen, so hope to see you there. Bye! Thank you.